G'day folks, ZD here, and in this video I just wanted to wrap up with some final thoughts on Affliction. In my opinion, this is the best Path of Exile's ever been. This league led to me pushing my experience with the game to a whole new level. I finally killed all of the uber bosses and did just about every other piece of content in the game. I did some high-end crafting, I min-maxed some fantastic builds way beyond what I've done in the past, and I played the game like an absolute addict for two months. I just couldn't get enough. I really felt those cravings when I wasn't playing like I haven't felt in a few years at this point. This is actually the most I've played in two years since I did the Mirrorthon where I basically grinded until I got a mirror. I even did two things that I said I'd never do this league. Grind level 100 and do 40 out of 40 challenges. I always just thought that level 100 was too much time to spend on any one character and that 40 out of 40 challenges just didn't seem like a lot of fun to me. But this league was just so engaging that I was so far along on both of those milestones anyway that I thought why the hell not cap off such a good time in a way that feels like I really beat the game. Here we go! The final push! I said I would never ever... Oh hold on, I didn't need to do a quick respec. <laughs> Still. I said I would never ever... Never ever ever go level 100 or do 40 challenges. I was like what a waste of time. I would much rather do all of the other things, but uh, here we are. <laughs> here we go. Wish me luck. Oh man, they're pretty tough. Oh god. Loot me to 100. <laughs> Let's go. Earlier in the league, Chayula embarrassed me on my Arca, and here we go. I get 100. The ultimate way to dab <laughs> on the content that embarrassed me in the past. I have redeemed myself. 40 40 and level 100. I swore I would never ever become such a degenerate Path of Exile player, and but Affliction brought out this. In many of us, didn't it? <laughs> did it bring it out in you? Did it bring it out in you? It did bring it out in me. My lord, did I go deeper on crafting and ubers and juicing? I actually did juicing. I've never done juicing. Oh my god. What a league, huh? Oh god, am I gonna get embarrassed again? Am I gonna get embarrassed? No, 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 we made it! <laughs> we made it with two seconds to spare. I made it. I'm okay, it's fine. We made it. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to fail for a second there. Woohoo! That would have been an unwelcome end to the clip. <laughs> Still distracted with my inane ranting. Woo! Yay! Let's do it. Hold up. One more flute sesh. Here we go. Chayula! You piece of crap. I'm back for revenge, mate. You embarrassed me on my favorite build ever. Here I am, level 100. Beef! I don't necessarily think Affliction is the best and certainly not my most favorite League mechanic ever. Running around in the wildwood feels kind of annoying, bumping into trees, talking to NPCs while mobs attack you, following the wisp trails in the wrong direction until they peter out, and so on. The encounters in the wildwoods as well were just also kind of a nothing burger, pretty mundane stuff. It certainly, as a mechanic itself, could have been a bit more interesting. So why then is this possibly the best Path of Exile League of all time? I think it's really just in how it all comes together for the game overall right now. First, there's the build creation side of things. The borrowed power of the extra ascendancies, the problem solving charms and that which was taken jewels, just answering so many different build creation questions. The build enabling tinctures and tons of different fun spectres and so on. These things alongside with the huge number of awesome like new and powerful and interesting transfigured gems just made this league such a playground for build making. 
Whether you just followed a build guide and played something really fun and powerful that let you do content you've never been able to do before, or whether you were actually experimenting and making your new ideas happen, everyone benefited here and the game has never been more fun and diverse in terms of strong and fun builds. Then there's like the end game content side of things as well. Obviously Wisp Juicing is the most powerful currency and unique item farming we've ever seen, as well as insane XP for those first time people pushing level 100s. But everything else in the game really benefited as well I think. You could take any mechanic and just focus on it and make some great wealth. All of those loaded Wisp Juices just had so much to spend on whatever you decided you wanted to sell them, right? There was a gold rush this league, and you could participate in the gold rush and maybe strike it big, or you could sell tools to those people and make a great fortune off that as well. People really talked about the economy being ruined by wisp juicing, but I just didn't see it. I think it was a different economy, and I think people often mistake an economy being different to being ruined. There are some ways that I think an economy can be ruined, like let's say some sort of organization bought up all of the thing that was needed to access a league mechanic for example. That would be a ruined economy in my mind, and a result of something being broken with the game. But I don't think that was the case here, that's not really what happened. The economy was certainly different, but I think it was in a really good way for the majority of players. Sure, tier 1 and tier 0 unique items lost a lot of value due to dropping like candy, and if you just got lucky and got one of those as a drop, you might be a bit bummed because it was worth a lot less than it could have been if you'd dropped it in a different league. But you know what the flip side of that is? This was the best league ever to buy a build enabling or power fantasy item. The things that the average POE player couldn't really ever dream of hoping to get their hands on became something that you could very realistically earn. There's never been a better time to try like a headhunter or a mage blood or just about anything else except maybe a few specific chase items for magic finders, the people participating in the gold rush, right? I mean how often do you really find the exact item you really want for your build in Path of Exile anyway, right? So. Everything just being so accessible and affordable is such a net positive for everyone, I think. Sure, there might be some whiplash next league, but man, this was a good time. And this economy thing brings me to my next point, crafting. It's never been more accessible to do some pretty major crafting in this game right now. With all the extra currency floating around, resources are just so plentiful. Dropping two divines on a metacraft at the bench felt like nothing. And on top of that, you've got great fractured items just spilling out like crazy. And that's the starting point for almost every craft right now. Taking a good fractured item and using essences or fossils and creating a suffix or prefix group and then locking it and using veiled chaoses or ashling slams to make like a pretty fun and interesting item is just such a good process and feels really enjoyable and so accessible right now. It's amazing. I had so much fun crafting this league and I did my best to introduce it to you folks through some of the videos that I made. Definitely do yourself a favor and try a few spicy crafts this league if you haven't. All in all, this means a ton of fun, powerful builds and accessible crafting to make great items for those builds. And when you're crafting your own items, even if you're following someone else's build guides, you're still participating in build creation and taking a lot more ownership over that gear, which I just think is such an improvement for the game. So more people doing that is phenomenal. And then on top of that, we're spoiled for choice in rewarding content to take part in and take those builds in and test them out and produce wealth to be able to do this. It's just a good time. I don't really expect any of Affliction to go core. That's kind of the price we pay for this like insane borrowed power that we're getting, like a second ascendancy. And I'm okay with that. I'd rather leagues like this than tame ones that are built to go core from the ground up. So I do hope that next league follows this trend. Something insanely fun and powerful to encourage us to build, craft and challenge ourselves. It's just something that we can enjoy until the next league comes along and they do something else once again. I would like to see that which was taken, the Jewel Go Core. It's like a Watcher's Eye in design which I'm a big fan of, high variance with insane potential and at a minimum always at least interesting to use the Wisdom Scroll on. Even better, this Jewel solves a lot of annoying build creation problems. Maybe a bit too well, but I do love it. They could easily tie this boss fight and its drops to Ritual League, it's already kind of tied to it in the lore, so it's a pretty good fit. You know like you can buy a fancy ritual vessel that summons the boss fight or something like that. I kind of want them to make the boss a bit harder though and make the jewel an actual 100% drop rate. I hate that like rare fight where he doesn't actually drop it, it just feels like such a bummer. So I just kind of wanted to quickly sum up my feelings and gush a bit about the league. Good job DG, kind of knocked it out of the park on this one. 
I'm off to prepare for the last epoch launch which is something I'm also super psyched for. It's an excellent fresh take on the action RPG genre and well worth taking a look at if you haven't yet. You'll be hard pressed to miss it because I definitely plan on putting out some more videos on it. To go from this league into the launch of Last Epoch and then like Path of Exile 2 beta just around the corner, this is the golden age of action RPGs in my mind folks. I'll leave you now with some random clips from my stream this league just for a bit of fun. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching. Who doing this? You. Oh, and it's empowered cultist. Ugh. These things. Yo, why the cultist white mobs have shaper health? <laughs> well, <laughs> What are you doing in my map? <laughs> what are you doing in my map? Hello? I panicked and went in your portal! <laughs> oh my god. Hilarious. The social awkwardness now. Mmm, I can taste they cringe. Definitely real. That's definitely a big one. We have to check this stuff. I think some of this stuff's kind of valuable. Check the Vonkos Auras. Let's do minion gems. Oh, Fractured Spectre? <laughs> what? Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh my! Oh, the sale! It's happening! Mom, get the camera! <laughs> ah! I think I'm to my hideout. I was too excited I went to their hideout. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Holy... Is. Missing ring? What? Is that still their ring? Wait... Oh! <laughs> Whoops, hold on, I'm coming back! I'm sorry! Come back! Come out in your hideout! <laughs> the auto grip. <laughs> it was an accident! Yeah, that would be a pretty clever way of getting away with it though. What do you mean, ring? What are you talking about? <laughs> You saw my inventory was empty. <laughs> left. I didn't even see the other ones. I'm guessing left top. No. Right. <laughs> I couldn't even see him, man. <laughs> top left, top right, something. Yes. Top left, top right. And then just guess. Failed. <laughs> oh! I survived! How? So, somehow? I don't know how. I can't answer that. You know what's also incredible? Having graphics in my video game. Can't even see the Primal Huntress. Why is no, why are no assets loading of late? What's going on, man? Did you broke something? Oh my god! Naked! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my! Good heavens! I think I might have caught you at an inopportune moment, Primal Huntress. My apologies. <laughs> Wait, am I doing Uber? Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't even think about that fact. Oh my god, I can't believe I did this Maven witnessed. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> it's actually going okay. The heck? Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe it! It was the greatest heist of all time! I can't believe I did it! <laughs> Redeemers, yep. Bam. Bam. What did I get? Oh my god! Okay. Alright, here we go. Hinakoro's like, oh my god, 29 divines. Oh, I don't think I've ever spent that much money in a click except that time with the mirror and the chrome. Oh, <laughs> I have no more money to do this again. That ring is a weapon. <laughs> is, it, is this thing a bow? Oh my god! First go! Awakened fork? That might be worth something too. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yo! I'm sorry. Oh my god! I'm something! <laughs> it's worth something! 
Oh, I just found my next build. Good. I was thinking that I might need to like farm a hundred div or something to farm my next build. <laughs> One go. Oh my god. So as I can uh, take that temporarily. Yeah, Warlock's like insane for life stacking builds, and that's about it. <laughs> you have a quest you want to tell me about? I doubt I'm going to do it, but I um, get yeah, more damage too, and less damage taken from beasts. Maybe I'll find the other one. <laughs> they, they, all right, there we go. <laughs> the shortest lived ascendancy usage of all time. Hilarious. Perfect. <laughs> I My only consolation is the Good builds, good cosplaying. Whoa! The heck? That was from the boss arena. Was it? What the hell was that? <laughs> These memories are mine. These are ball management. They lie to you, oh, you. <laughs> Unless it's like something like truly unique and unusual, which I Power World would be it, but I'm just not particularly interested. I can't do this just yet. Um. Wait, right, this is the boss. We gotta do the tracks first. All right. Let's go. Let's, oh God, no! Fucking dra Did you do it too, Javen? <laughs> Enjoy the map. <laughs> Fuck you, Ultimato Man! <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Finally, you piece of garbage. I hate you! <laughs> oh, woohoo! <laughs> yes. This is what her version of Kisses look like. Uh, so the book's like this, and she just goes. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's <laughs> good so far. <laughs> Woo! <Woo>. Damn, <laughs> Dali language. <laughs> okay, that's not what Dali does. <laughs> she is one in three days. Zoth's grasping mail. Ooh. <laughs> Yo. Ow. The degens. Armor is increased by overcap fire as. Oh. 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's fractured. I didn't realize. It's fractured. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy. There aren't many of these going around. Oh my lord. Hey, if Last Epoch wasn't coming out in like a few days, I would make an armor, armor stacker. I, I, I would make another build this week <laughs> instead of ending off of the back of that drop. I do, I do want to make an armor stacker at some point. That is an insane drop. The shit. Regular mod is like 80 div. Fracture is like 200 or something. 200 plus. That is just something else. That is. I don't even know. Oh, and Val Breach too. <laughs> I didn't even notice the Val. I also got a Val Breach from that. <laughs> what the? In case like 200 div wasn't enough, <laughs> you have a Val Breach too. Another 12 div. Mwah! I will see you very soon for some Last Epoch launch preparations. That will be our next affair. We'll be level 100 in Last Epoch. Yeah, it's actually really easy. <laughs> we'll probably do that. <laughs> um, it's been a good time, folks. Good night. I'm out of here. It's really late. It's like 9.30. <laughs> Bye.